Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you for the Gaming Cave. Today we're going to start a playthrough of Tally Ho, a solitaire air war game from Historic Wings and Thomas Van Hare. And we will be starting with mission number one, The Battle of Britain Begins, Wednesday, 10 July 1940. So I'm going to uh, throw this uh, sheet up on the video because I'm playing on Vassal. But I want to be able to at least show you these charts. So I should be able to um, get this up here for you. Have you give you a look at it um, for our gameplay charts and our setup charts that we'll be using. And then our comms charts, which these don't vary a lot. And um, we shouldn't have any trouble there during the game. All right. So let's get started. All right, here we are. I've got um, some things loaded up. I'll show you. Um, of course, you have to when you're using the Basel module. You have to have the. You still have to have the book um, because it has your tables in it for your movements and um, those pieces of the game. So uh, first thing, I have uh, mission number one right here. It's all set up and. Uh, the Germans will come in down here, and the British will be coming in from their air bases up here. And then the other thing I'm going to use uh, that I found really cool, I found this on Board Game Geek, is this spreadsheet. This is the mission tracking sheet, and it's really automated. You'll see as I populate it. Uh, it has a mission tracking, and it also has the campaign tracking. So on this side, it will populate all of our um, scores and stuff as we move through the game. So I think that's uh, really cool. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first thing we're going to do is um, determine the Germans and we roll four times. Uh, their planes are either going to be the Dornier uh, DO-17, the Flying Pencil, or the Messerschmitt BF-109E Emil or the email with an ace. Um, and then we'll roll, so we'll roll for the aircraft type, their strength, um, and then their altitude, and then their starting uh, location uh, down here. So um, just kind of bear with me while I do this. We'll pull up the Luftwaffe staff, Stoffels, we'll get them over here, and let's make our first roll. And it is a one, which is the DO-17. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, number one. Uh, we roll again, and a one to five, they'll have four swarms. It is a five. Okay, so they'll have four swarms. And now their altitude, we roll 1d6, a two. A two for the bombers is low level. And then their starting location it whoops, hit the wrong one is a one so we take do 17 one and he will be on low level and right here on one okay now we got to go to the spreadsheet and we put in do 17 this is number one a start location is area one he is low level, and his strength is four. And you see it populates all the way across what their attack factors, bombing factors, all that stuff, and victory points are. Okay. All right. Second is a two, another DO-17. Let's see. It's one, two, three gives us DO-17s. The other three gives us measurements. So this will be DO-17 group number two. All right, let's see their strength. Three, they have four swarms. And their altitude is a one. They are at sea level. They're coming in low. Okay, and their starting spot is also a one. But this is number two, and he goes right here at sea level. Okay, so back to the spreadsheet. We have DO-17. This one is number two. He's also starting at position one. 
but they're coming in at sea level. Okay. Active vessel. The next one is, oh, uh, this is the Messerschmitt with the ace. Okay. So, Mr. Schmidt, I think we'll start this group with number six, so we keep them separated on our board so we don't get confused. Okay, so we'll do number six. We roll for his Stoffel strength. It's a three, so he has four um, swarms also. All right, and his altitude is two. He's also at sea level. And his starting position is six. So we're going to take 109, number six, and put him out here at sea level. He's way up here. Okay. Back to our spreadsheet. This is a 109. This is ID number six. His starting location was six. He's at sea level he's a four and he does have an ace so he gets one additional d6 all right one more we roll it is a one another do 17 and he is full strength four and his starting altitude is sea level wow they're all flying low today okay sea level and Starts in four. So this will be DO17 three, four, and C level. He's way up here. All right. This makes it interesting because this is different every time. Um, okay. So this one is a DO17 number three. Starting location was four. He was also at sea level, and he's a four. Okay, so the reason sea level, it's harder for the radar to pick them up, so they get farther out before uh, we know about it. So these fighters are out here, kind of like a fighter sweep. <laughs> okay, now we got to roll for the uh, for the British. We get three uh, squadrons, so we roll a uh, one is for the Defiance. Uh, two, three, four are Hurricanes, and five and six are Spitfires, and I have no choice for an ace, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, the first British fighter squadron will be a two, Hurricanes. Okay, and we roll for their strength, and a five, they are at three Vix. Okay, so three, fi <clears throat> three Vix, and their starting location is four, which is going to be Hawking. So we'll bring out the Hurricane. So we'll start with him. Oops, close that. Bring up my RAF squadrons. And we'll grab Hurricane number one. And he's going to be here at Hawking. We're going to come over here now. We have, I'm going to skip a row to keep them separate. We have a Hurricane. He's uh, number one. Oops. Okay. Uh, his start location was Hawking. Right there. And we'll start him out at low level. And their strength was only three this time. Okay. So they're starting out with a smaller group up. Okay. And we're going to change his orientation. I'm going to move him right and turn right so he's coming this way I want to intercept this first one as quickly as I can all right second squadron is a five Spitfires good <laughs> and their strength is a four so they have four Vix and they're gonna start at six up here at Manston okay so I got Spitfires so we'll start them with number four number four he'll be there come back over to our chart we got a spitfire 
He is number four. He's starting at Manston. And there are four. Okay. And finally, the last one. Oh, yeah. Let's orient him. I'm going to turn him to the right also to get started. And he was going to be at low level. The altitude really doesn't matter except for any aircraft fire. So that's uh, near as I can tell from everything I've read and seen. Okay, one more. This is, oh, another Spitfire. Six. Great. And his strength, oh, is six. Oh, that's not good. He only has two Vicks. Okay, and he's coming out of Lempney. Okay, so got another Spitfire. This will be Spitfire number five. He's coming out of Lempney. We're going to turn right, turn right, turn right. I want him to come down this way. Okay, Spitfire number five. Limpney, low level, and his strength is two. Wow. So that's not good. Okay. All right. That's it. Setup's done. So you can see it's pretty quick. Um, everything's all recorded for me. I can get this off of there now. All right. Here we go. Well, we're ready. So we start with the Germans. They move first. So we're going to start. We work from top down, left, right. So if there's a tie, it goes left, right. Otherwise, so the highest. So this 109 is going to move first. So we use the gameplay chart, and we roll 1d6. It's going to tell us what to do. He does a 5, and that is turn to the RAF. So he's going to turn, and he's going to move directly to the RAF as quickly as he can. So... Turn to the RF, he stays, faces, moves directly towards the nearest squadron. So he's going to turn left. He's going to move three. One, two, three. So there he is. Okay. Now, this bomber's next. We roll a D6 for him. He gets a one. And a one is turn left or right. So we roll, one, two, three is to the left, four. He's going to turn to the right. He turns right, and these guys are pretty fast. They move three. One, two, three. So there he goes. So he's trying to get way out, maybe, and circle around. I got to go hunting for him. Okay, this next one is the guy that's down here at sea level. Number two, we roll for him. He gets a three, and a three is turn from the RAF but only if there are three squares there. So we there's a uh, segment that tells you turn from REF, moves directly away from the nearest squadron, but only if one is within three hexes. Otherwise, turn to target. So he's going to turn right and move. One, two, three. So there he goes. So see, he's coming up this way, and he's going to make another turn. All right, 17, he gets a four, and his is turn to target. So he's also going to turn right and go one, two, three. So there they go. So they've moved. All right, now we go to the British. Okay, so, and right now, nobody's in the same hex, so nobody's in a massed formation. I have this Spitfire, and we're going to roll. Now, he is Spitfire number four. And Spitfire number four has a strength of four. So we add four to his die roll. Because he has four VIX. Okay, so we roll 1d6. It's a three plus four is a seven. And a seven on his communication chart says move and engage. So he's going to move. One, two. And he engages with the Messerschmitt right there. All right. Now, this is hurricane number one. He only has three, so we only add three to his die roll. He rolls a four plus three, seven, move and engage. So I got to decide where to move to. So 
So these guys could turn or they could, you know, they, they could try to come up this way. Um, it's kind of a, I don't have to move the full three. So I'm kind of thinking if he zips on up this way or he's going to turn, I think. I'm only going to move him one hex this direction because I can't engage anybody. So if I move him one, then I can try to see, well, if I move him, if I move him one, two, three, one, two, three like that. He's going to try. I got to get out here and get these guys if I can get them. They're fast. That's the thing, right? And I'm going to turn him left. So I want him to come up this way now. All right. These guys, I got to roll. They're only a plus two because they're only two in their Vic. So two plus two is a four. A four is move. Do not engage for the Spitfire. So do not engage. So he's going to come this way. One, two I'm going to turn him left right there so I'm hoping they fly right up here and I can get them from there okay all right that's all our movement I'm going to clear those um move button there it is I was looking for it okay clear that Oh, we have a dogfight, though. All right. So, here we go. This is Spitfire 4 and 109, six, 109, number 6. But he has an ace. He has a strength of 4, and he has the ace, which is plus 1d6. So, he's going to roll 5d6. And for the, for the Measure Schmidt, he hits on a 5 or above. His defense is a 1. Okay, 5d6, he rolls. And he gets 1, 2, 3, 3, 6. So that's one defense and one attack. So right here, round one, one attack, one defense. Okay, that's what he scores. Now I have Hurricane for Spitfire number four. Right here. I have 4d6. I'm going against the Messerschmitts, and when I go against them, I get an additional one. So I get 5d6. I got 1-1-2-2-2. One, one, two, two, two. So I got two defense and no attacks. That's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. Okay, so I got no attacks, two defense. Okay, now we resolve this. He has one attack, I have two defense, so he gets nothing. I have no attacks, he has one defense. So nobody got hit. Okay. So then we go back to Basil. Sorry. And these two would now scatter at the end. And they would be both at low level. So he's now at low level. And I'm still at low level with my Spitfire because that's his current altitudes. Okay, now we're going to scatter them. So what happens is my Spitfire rolls and it counts on the clock. Starts up here at one, two, three, four, five, six. So we roll and he gets a one. So his facing is going to be left and left. And then the Messer Schmidt blowing. Is going to roll and he's a four so four is due south turn left turn left now it's going to depend on his orders on the next one so we have finished all our moves now that first round is done now we go to round two okay so we start with the germans and we roll the die now if he gets a um, move to RAF they're going to stay right there and dogfight Okay, so we roll, and he gets a 6, and a 6 is turn to RAF. So here we go. So we just stay in the dogfight right there. Okay, so we come to this bomb group now. We roll for him. He gets a 4. 
A four is turn to target. So he's going to turn left. One, two, three, four. This is the closest one. So he's going to move. I'm just going to check that real quick. On the uh, turn to target, it moved it directly toward the nearest target. And he ends moving facing that. So two, three that way, he would be two way. One, two, three that way, he would be two way. One, two, three that way, he'd be two way. So that makes sense. One, two, whoop, two, three. And he turns left. So he's getting lined up. See, and I can't catch him. So that's not good. <laughs> okay. Number two, he rolls. And he is a four. His is turn to target. So he wants to come straight up this way. So he would probably come one, two, three like that. Let's see. Two, th Let's see if we roll, see which target he's going to go after. Beans are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the closest target. That's the one he should go to. He would turn and go straight up there. He's going to run into those Spitfires. But I do not believe he can. He would move one, two, three. I believe that's what he would do. One, two, three, and he would turn left. He's in between those guys. Now we have this one. He gets a six, which is turn to target. He's doing the same thing. One, two, three, and he turns left. So both these bomber formations right here are um, moving up. And I got these guys that can jump on them here. Okay, and then I got this bomber group, but I'm tied up with a dogfight. So now I go to the British. He doesn't do anything. So I start with my hurricane. And we roll him, and he's a plus three. He gets a two plus three is a five for the hurricane. He is move and engage. So he is going to move here and engage with these guys. Okay, and then I got this one. Spitfire, he's a plus two. Three plus two is a five. Thank goodness. He moves and engages right there. Okay, so we got three dogfights. So we're going to start with the fighters up here. So here we go. I have, he has four, and he gets five because he has the ace. So he fires two, 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 three, five. One hit. Oh, wrong screen. Wrong screen. <laughs> okay, he gets one attack. In zero defense. I get a chance if I can hit him. I get 5d6 with my Spitfires here. We're going to roll 5. We, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2. I can't hit him, but he can't hit me. Okay. The problem is we're stuck in this stupid fur ball here. <laughs> okay. So I get another 0 and 2. So there's nobody gets damaged. Oh, I forgot. We didn't take our ammo off last time. So last time, he was down to one. This time, he's down to zero. He's out of ammo. I'm down, after this one, to one. So I only got one left. Okay. So that's it. The Messerschmitts notoriously could not stay in dogfight for very long. So the good news is he has to get out of there, and I didn't lose any aircraft to him. Okay, <clears throat> now I have my Hurricanes attacking these Dorniers. All right, so the Dorniers are going to roll, and this is this is number two. Okay, so he is a six attack and a one defense for the Dorniers. He's got four aircraft, so he rolls 4d6. He gets one defense, no attacks. Okay, number two, he gets zero attack, one defense. And I'm going to lower his ammo right now. 
or I'll forget. He goes to three. All right. Now my hurricanes are attacking with three D6. I get one, one, five. So I get one attack. I get two defense, one hit. So the hurricanes right here, one attack, two defense. And they drop an ammo down to two. Okay. So <laughs> the uh, hurricanes didn't nail him. If I'd got one, he would have jettisoned his bombs and took off. All right. So now we come over here and we have the same thing. This is number one. He rolls 4d6. He gets, uh-oh, two defense, one attack. So he gets one attack, two defense. That's going to make it tough because, oh, wait a minute. Let's go back over and take an ammo off of him. He's down to three. Okay. Because... My Spitfire only has two. He gets nothing. Figures. He gets zero and zero. And his ammo goes to two. All right. So you can see what's happening, right? All right. Here we go. So when we resolve these, I did all my firing. I should have been resolving them as I went. So up here, I have the Spitfire and the Messerschmitt, and neither one of them inflicted any damage. Here I had the Hurricane. He had one damage, two defense, and he was going against number two who had no attack and one defense. So they offset each other. Here, the last one, I had nothing, and he had one, one hit. So I lose one of my strength on this Spitfire. So he goes down to one. He needs to get in and join up and mass his formation with somebody else to help him because <laughs> he doesn't have the strength. And I should have thought of that when I was took off. I should have had him try to get up there and mass up with somebody, but I didn't. Okay, learning curve. Now I got to roll for rescue. So here he is one, two, three hex away from land. One, two, three. So we roll 2d6, add them together, and minus three, and he has to be five. It has to be, um, checking my thing. Yeah. Greater than or equal to five. So we roll 2d6. That's 12. Minus three is nine. So they rescued my pilot. So he's a one there. That helps with our um, victory points. Let's do it right. There we go. That'll help with the victory points there. All right. That's the end of that round. Now we got to do our scatter again. So back over here, um, I'm going to be, I roll in direction three. So right, right, that's it. Okay, one, two, three. Now the German ace, they got to leave. They're already headed that way, but they're going RTB, return to base. So they're going to move straight out and go return to base. All right, over here, my hurricane is going to be a six, I'm going to go turn left, turn left, and the bombers are going to be a one, straight up. It's just the way they wanted to be. Now my Spitfire here is going to be three. So he's already pointing that way, and the bomber, he's going to be five. So he got turned around. So that's the direction he's headed. Okay, so that should take care of all my 
uh, paperwork. Everybody but three should be at low level now. Yeah, he's at low level because of the bombing. He's at low level. All my fighters are at low level. Okay, here we go. Round three. Let's see what happens. Okay, the first one that's going to move this time is this bomber. So we got a roll. And we get a six. Turn to target. So he's going to move. One, two. Boom. Right there. So he's at the target. All right. Now, this German's RTB. One, two, three. So he's, he's getting out of there. All right. Now we have this bomber, number two. We roll for him. He gets a one. It's a left or right. One, two, three is left. No, he's going to turn right. He turns right. He moves one, two, three. So they're trying to get away from all this attacking that's been going on. And now I've got this guy. Whoops. I go over here. We roll for him. He gets a five, which is turn to target. So he's going to turn right, turn right. One, two, three. Now, he enters this space with the radar, so there's light. Um, any aircraft possible, we roll 1d6 to see if we hit him. Don't. We needed a 6. We got a 2. So he doesn't get hit. Okay, so now I got this going on. And I think we do. I'm looking through a play aid. To see for actions, I believe we do dog fights and then we do bombing after that. So this Spitfire, I got to roll for comms for him. So he's a plus four. So he's not getting any trouble. That's seven. He's gonna move here. I'm gonna turn him left. One, two, he intercepts those guys at the target. Okay. My hurricane, he's going to go plus three, that's six. He attacks. Turn him right. One, two, I'm going to hit that one. Now this Spitfire is going to go, he's got to go one plus one. Ooh, seven. So he can attack. So he's going to turn to left. And he's going one, two, three. And he's joining that hurricane right there. And they're going to join up as a mass formation. So there's a mass formation sheet right here that we can use. But in this case, I know they're a mass formation. They're going to fight as a mass formation against those bombers. So... They'll still roll separately, but their defense helps each other. So um, it'll help that Spitfire uh, with his attack. All right. So we got some uh, we got some uh, dog fights to do. I got my my Spitfire force up here. They have a swarm of four. So I get in the Germans. This is uh, number three. Oh, the, uh, we both are going to get fired on by anti-aircraft fire. I should have done that first. So the shipping is light. Got to verify that. Locations, if the rule you must engage, all target and city hexes contain heavy. This is a target hex, so it's heavy AA. So they roll, and if it's a six, he takes the hit. Oh, it's a six. Okay, with heavy at low level, and a stoffel is at low level. On a four to six, it loses a swarm. Four. Oh, he lost the swarm. So that's number three. So number three lost the swarm. And I need to roll to see if he's 
rescued or lost. On a one to three, um, they are rescued. We go here and we roll. Six, they're lost. So we come back over here and they lost them. That's one there, lost. Those are my victory points. Now, my fighters also are subject to friendly fire. Okay. So we roll. If it's a six, we're going to get hit. No. Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> we survived. Now we have our dog fight. So he is a... He has three. He rolls three D6. He gets nothing. Okay. So he scores zero and zero. All right. This is my Spitfires. They get four D6. We roll. Three, four, five, six. That's two hits. Oh, that's big. They caught him just on their bomb run. Okay. So he gets... Two and zero. So I hit him for two. He's down to one. He's got to take two more rolls. I'm going to roll two D6. A one and a three. They both got rescued. So they, they did come rescue him. He gets two rescued right there. Okay. And now he's got to make his bomb run. So he only has one left on his bomb run. So for him on a bomb run, his is a four. But in this scenario, this specific scenario, he has to have a six to hit. It's because of the shipping. Okay. So he's going to roll. He only gets 1d6, and he rolls a 3. He did not hit. He missed. <laughs> and he's going to go turn left, turn left, and return to base. He's done. Okay. Now, these guys, my Spitfires are out of ammo. And he's down to a 3 for his ammo, fuel. He's done three. These other two guys have only done the one. Okay. Now, whew, no shipping hit that time. I'm about to run out of uh, ammo. That's my problem. I need to hit this guy hard, hopefully. Okay, well, this is number one. He's going to fire. He has... Four air, four swarm. He's going to roll four D6. Two, 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 five. Nothing. Okay. So he gets zero and zero. And he goes down to two now. All right. Now my hurricanes and my. Last Spitfire are all going to fire, but they fire separately for what they roll, and then they work together for him. So the Hurricanes are firing. They have three aircraft. So he's firing 3D6. 2, 3, 5. He got a hit. So the Hurricane gets a 1, a 0, and he uses up an ammo. And then... My Spitfire is 1d6. Four. Nothing. He goes zero. And his ammo is down to one. Okay. So, the I scored um one hit against number <laughs> one. So a hit on him means he jettisons his bombs. Ah, 
wrong sheet. Okay. So he took a hit. He goes three. And he jettisons his bombs. And he's going to go return to base. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Return to base. And clear all those moves. Going to round four. So he's the first guy to move. Nope, he's the first guy to move up here. One, two, three. Then this guy's going to move. One, two, three. Let's see. Spitfire four. He's out of ammo, Whitney. Yep. So he's going to be return to base. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and move this Messer Schmidt. One, two, three. Okay. This guy. We got a roll four. He gets a four, and a four is turn to target. So he's going to go turn left. One, two, three. He gets there, and he's going to enter a dogfight. And even though I don't have ammo showed, I still can do the dogfight. All right. So he's not going to move. And now these three guys, these two guys are moving as a massed formation. And I'm going to roll for my comms. So there's four there. So they're good. And they're going to attack. One, two, three. All right. So I'm going to get one last shot at this guy. This is number two, and he has all four of his, so he's going to roll 4d6. He gets a one and a six, so he gets one hit, and he gets one um, save. It's one and one. Well, he's fighting back. All right. Our Hurricanes have three. They roll 3d6. Three, 3, 3, 4, nothing. Son of a gun. Needed them. My other Spitfire down here, he has one. He rolls. He misses. Zero, zero, and I'm just going to look at this real quick because I know I read that and I want to make sure on return to base, even when return to base, a Stoffel may inadvertently enter a dogfight by entering a hex that contains an RAF squadron, even if the RAF squadron is returned to base. Squadrons and Staffels that have exhausted all Fuel ammo points do not suffer any penalties in dogfights, i.e. such dogfights are resolved normally. Pro tip, if you roll a move do not engage and yet still wish to enter a dogfight with the Luftwaffe Stoffel that is RTB, move your RAF squadrons into the path it will take. Right. Okay. But this says... It must avoid dogfights unless all potential paths to the base are blocked. So we do the dogfight. So he fires, and he's got four. 4d6. He gets three hits. <laughs> Dude, zero and three. So that's two hits on the bomber formation. So he takes two hits. We got to roll to see if his pilots are lost or saved. 2d6. They're both rescued. <coughs> so he's got two rescued. 
This guy lost an aircraft and I didn't roll for his, so I better roll for him. <coughs> Six, he was lost. He is one lost. So three out of his, none out of the 109s, two out of the rescued, <coughs> and one lost. Okay, now he's going to, out of all this mess, um, he's down to two, and we're out of ammo on everybody. Everybody's going home. And I don't think that's right. Yes, it is right, because he moved into me, caused the dog fight. I didn't move into him. That's right. Okay, I'm good with that. I just got lucky that he was right there. Um, we did not do any aircraft fire. So any aircraft fire should have done that first. Here's against the German. Nope. Here's against the Hurricanes. Nope. Against the one Spitfire. Nope. And against the other. Nope. So nobody got hit by any, any aircraft. All right. So the Germans are bombing. They have two bombers left. So they roll 2d6 and they need a 6 to hit. They did not get any hits. Woohoo! Okay. We don't have to move anymore because everybody's going to return to base. Oh, that guy was up there too. Okay. So we don't have to do anything because everybody's, I'm out of ammo. He's out of ammo. Everybody's going home. Okay. So that's it. So now down here for the campaign, it says in the book, the side that scores the most victory points wins. REF special mission ensure zero hits are scored on convoys. I did that. I got five special points. So I got five there. And Luftwaffe special mission score at least three hits on both convoys. No, they did not. Okay. So this is the way the map, this is the way my mission tracker looks. We took us four rounds and um, I didn't lose. I lost one Vic. He got, I shot him up pretty good. All right. And now we're going to update the campaign tracking sheet. So I push this macro button. Yes. And we go look at our campaign and it filled it in. I lost the Vic. He lost six swarms. I gained eight. He had one victory point. Um, no strafing, bombing, strafing victory points. Uh, five specials there. So I have 13. Total victory points he had won. I won that first mission. So, a good first day. And we hammered them pretty good. All right. So, that's the... Uh, that takes care of that. Now I can clear my mission tracking sheet. Sure. Yes. And it goes through. And it's ready for the next mission. So, the next time... Um, that we play will be phase two. Yep, and everything stayed there. So the next phase will be phase two, which is convoy raid off White Cliffs of Dover, Sunday, 14 July. All right, so that's how the Vassal works. I think it played pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. So I think um, we're good. Uh, got off to a good start. It's kind of a, you never know, right? Because the dice rolls, you, you know they're going to go to the target sooner or later, and you know the fighters are going to come after you. But the nice thing is the Luftwaffe only gets two shots at you. So if you can avoid getting nailed by him, then you have a chance to hit the bombers. I got lucky up here, and he didn't, and that was tough bombing for those guys too. So uh, we'll see what happens in the next one. All right. That's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, looking forward to the next mission, and uh, we'll see how it goes. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, leave me your comments and give me that thumbs up and like the video, please. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one.